Hello, people! What's up, everybody? Secret Senpai here, and how's it going, everybody? Yeah, I'm holding my mic today. So I just wanted to try something different. I never hold my mic. I, I've never taken. It's been a while since I've taken it out of it, out of its thingy. Why is there even tape in this? Oh, I think I had tape because it wasn't like fitting in the hole. But anyways, yo, um, the first week of the spring anime season has coming to an end or that's one thing i'm recording this on saturday but probably going to have this up on sunday because i don't feel like uploading stuff and editing on the same day of but anyways so yeah the first week has ended and i have checked out a number of shows i've i have 17 shows here i want to go through talk about the ones i've seen my first you know first some quick thoughts on everything and yeah Anyways, yo, first up on this list, I have that time I got reincarnated as a slime season three. Another season of reincarnated slime, which is always great. Um, I know that last season ended on a pretty solid note. Um, it was actually split into two cores. This season is actually going to be continuing, you know, 24 episodes core back to back, which is actually great. If anything, I'm kind of, kind of curious what arc we're going to have with this. Anyways, another season of slime. If you enjoyed the previous season, you enjoyed this one. Likewise, Eurocamp season three, my favorite comfy anime of the season. I think I made a post on it because, man, this is one of my favorite shows. Um, one of my favorite slice of life and just laid back show see what i did there another chill show if you're looking for like a really chill anime something like com comfy and comfortable yo your camp is the best show to watch um first episode is really great we got we got the pine cones talking um konnichiwa. you know yeah ah, i like that likewise um in terms of sequels there's also spice and wolf which actually this isn't a sequel it's actually a remake on uh, the 2020 uh 2024 <laughs> 2024 remake um from the 2000 i think six series 2008 according to what i asked people in the comments what's what's the difference between this and the original but i never saw the original one or at least the earlier version and of course some people this one's going to follow the um light novel more closely because the original series the 2006 or 2008 series um didn't it kind of did his own thing in some parts i think i i don't know completely but that's what as according to what someone has mentioned in the comments that this one's apparently going to be following it more like more um closely which i really like i like that there are these series that are getting remakes getting getting the full metal alchemist getting the brotherhood treatment um getting that remake and following the source material a bit more um maybe improving the animation a little bit um i mean personally i like the animation quality of it um it's by passion um which I'm like, dang, passion. Yo, so far it's looking good. Um, already quality. I already know it from just first up. So I'm like, dang, I'm looking forward to this adventure. Then traveling. I don't know how many episodes it's going to be off the top of my head. It's going to be 25 episodes. So we're getting a full back-to-back -back season. Uh, cores or whatever. Y'all know what I mean. So in terms of new anime though. Um, no sequels. No, nothing like that. Um, Re-Monster or Ray monster Kind of like, you know, Ray Zero. Ray monster um, what does Ray even mean? Um, uh, Ray Monster. Um, one of the new anime for the season, and it's actually an isekai anime. Um, a unique isekai anime at that, where our main dude is reincarnated as a goblin. And all these animes, is kind of funny that we've seen, like, goblins in different perspectives. I was curious how this one was gonna be. I gave it a look. And I actually enjoyed the first episode way more than I thought I would. Um, you know, all isekai anime tend to have a gimmick. Um, this one gimmick is the main dude being... Um, a goblin, but he also has, you know, everyone has some unique skill and whatnot, but his unique skill is not of this world, or at least so far, it seems like there might be some other applications related to it, but the main part of it is the fact that in his world, his previous world, like our world, there were people with like powers already, like people had like Esper abilities, and he was like some dude who's like at the top of the pyramid with that where anything he like what consumed he would have that ability and he's able to and he's able to retain that same ability in this fantasy world now so if every single like animal he's eating he's like getting that same like ability or some like skills along re re related to that which is kind of cool um in fact i feel like that's like how it is with a lot of isekai stuff uh, i think in fact as i'm saying this i'm thinking about um that time i got reincarnated as slime where literally every single creature that he like ate would consume he would gain some ability in this case he's just a goblin that's that's what it is reincarnated slime as a goblin <laughs> that's that's <laughs> i think from here on, i'm just curious where the story is going to go 
um but they introduced like him evolving into like a hobgoblin um him helping these other goblins and him, maybe he's going to eventually become a chief yeah definitely looking like an interesting show i'm curious if anyone from his world is actually going to come to this world other reincarnation anime this one's actually not an isekai but just a regular reincarnated anime um, the title was reincarnated as the seventh prince, so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability. I don't have much to say about this show. Uh, the animation for it looks pretty cool. If the animation is consistent like the first episode with those action sequences where he was in the whole sword fight and then later on when he was doing some more magic against that demon lord, I think it'll be I think it'll be a visually it'll be a nice show. Um, Story-wise, I remember when I read the title and I was reading someone's comment and I, they said, oh wait, is this going to be like Seventh Son? And I was like, oh no. No, 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 no. Was it Seventh Son or was it Eighth Son? Yes, the Eighth Son. Are you kidding me? That show was so garbage. If this is anything like that show, then yeah, definitely I'm going to be hating on this. But so far, seems alright. I mean, already we have an OP main character. So I'm th if anything, I'm curious where the storyline is going to go. I know some people are saying this is going to be like um, some One Shota type, type relationship. And I was like, ah. Next, there's also Bartender um, Glass of God, a bartender anime. I remember a while ago I saw the key art and I was like, oh man, I kind of want to check this out. Upon researching more stuff with the show, this actually, this is actually a remake. Another show with a remake. <laughs> um, this this show actually, the, the original Shia series of this aired in 2006. Some people aren't sure what's going to happen with this remake, if they're just remaking it for the sake of it or if they're going to um, follow the source material more, more closely because I know the last series, um, see, some people are saying that, oh, that one was more episodic. Um, this one may not be. But yeah, for the premise of this one, there's this dude who's a bar. There's this company that, this, I think it's a hotel. Have the, and they have like some other stuff in the building and they're creating a bar there. But they're trying to find a bartender. Of course, there's this prodigy bartender who's around. And then they test him in the ending of the episode. They test him and they're like, oh man, we really, you, you know your stuff as a bartender. So yeah, I feel like the first episode should have been a little longer. Or at least I should have been in episode one and two. Um, but definitely a nice premise. Nice premise, nice first episode. I mean, I knew I was going to like it. It seems like a nice chill show. Some like, some comedy here and there, but also you might learn a bit about some bar drinks, you know? Beer, wine, other stuff. I, I don't know much about drinks because I don't really drink that, drink that much stuff. Um, you know, give me some water, some juice. <laughs> um, there's also a condition called Love, which is a new rom-com. I'm not too sure about this one, to be honest. It's like I like it, but also don't like it. So basically, it's like our typical boy meets girl, girl meets boy. Um, this dude who's popular, he gets dumped. And then this girl who's, I guess, also in the school. They're not classmates. Um, same grade. And she, she's over here. Oh, man, I want to know what love is like. And he over here confesses to her and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, what I don't like about the show so much. I don't know. I don't really vibe the main the main dude that much. He's, he's, he's a unique character. Um, I know he has all good intentions, but I don't know. I, I, hey, so far, this is me on my first episode. I, I don't think it'll be up there, but I might be here. It might, so far, it's right here. It's not there yet. It's right here so far. Yeah, anyways, that's all I gotta say about that. Windbreaker was a nice one as well. Action-packed. It's all hands of this show, and I like it. Um, Delinquents are the heroes in this show, funny enough. Uh, it's also refreshing to see, like, a show that's, like, delinquent-focused and also, like, quality animation that fight choreography in the first episode was already phenomenal i'm just curious what's going to happen more future episodes and what kind of direction we're going to go with this because already starting off we know that oh hey they're going to be protecting this town but i wonder if we're going to meet some rivals or something um here's how this school life is going to go um and meet some other characters that they showed in the opening but yeah pretty pretty solid show pretty solid pretty solid it's by cloverworks and i don't know i'm already liking it I already like it. I mean, I knew I was going to probably like it too, especially if it's all hands. Man, no superpowers, no magic, no no other fancy fantasy or sci-fi elements, just hands. There's also Astronaut, which is also another rom-com for the season. Definitely a strange show, to be honest. I actually watched the first episode not too long ago, um, and I don't know when I'm watching it. Um, I don't. It reminds me of like a 1980s like story like i feel like it was made like from like the key art which i thought i was like oh man is this gonna be a remake on like an older series i'm like no it's not it's i think it's i think it's an original if i'm not mistaken i don't know i feel like the series i don't know considering how quirky it is and the jokes they have and the way the characters 
our personality wise and then and also their character designs i don't know i feel like it's like a 1980s rom-com anime like But it seems it seems all right though. It seems like a decent watch. Um, some I mean, I got, got I got a few chuckles here and there. Yeah, this dude who's good at cooking decides, oh, let me work there because I got a crush on this girl there. So, who he doesn't know is an alien. <laughs> so yeah, that's the premise of it. Yeah, I got some chuckles though from the show. But it seems, it seems like it's going to be a decent watch overall. There's also a salad bowl of eccentrics, um, which when I saw this episode, I was like, okay, this show's kind of like a devil's a part timer. And he a Matsuri, and they had a child. <laughs> Basically, um, it's a reverse isekai show. Um, this princess from another world comes to our world. In her world, she had magic. And she gets taken care of by this older dude who's like a detective. Uh, which is why I got like the Hina Matsuri like relationship right there. I guess if the show mainly, I guess reminds me more so of Hina Matsuri if anything. Just just a reverse isekai element in, 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 implemented as well. Basically, it's a pretty chill show though. I think it's a nice first watch. First first episode was pretty nice. I think I think the comedy for it is pretty is pretty nice too. And it's not the same level comedy as Hina Matsuri, but I definitely like. Got some chuckles here and there. Um, there's a bunch of shows that I haven't yet to watch for this first week. Um, there's one room. Hiyatari Futsu Tenshi Suki. I don't know. It looked all right. I don't know. If you watch it, let me know your thoughts are on that one. Likewise, Trains to the End of the World. Also, seems like it's going to be a chill watch, but I don't know if it's going to be worth my time to watch, you know? Like, it's, it's like, I'm like, dang, this show's going to be good, but I don't know. Um, There's also God's Game We Play, which I haven't yet watched. Um, that show literally reminds me of Liar Liar. In fact, it looks exactly like Liar Liar in terms of the whole game aspect and everything. Then the character designs look the same. In fact, this Liar Liar right here. Then we have God's, what is it? God's Game We Play. It's like the same thing. The main dude looks the same as the other main dude. The other girl has red hair like the other girl. Then the other person has this. The, the, it looks like the same show. I don't know. With this show, I just saw it and I'm just like, yo, I'm going to hate it. Liar, liar. I gave it a few episodes and I stopped watching because I know I was going to like it. So, I don't know. If you watched it, let me know what your thoughts are on it. Um, did you like it? Will you, can you, will you be able to persuade me to watch it? <laughs> or are you going to prove me right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's also the regular Magic High Season 3. I haven't watched this in Season 1 since Season 1 aired in 2014. And then I think 2020, that's when Season 2 aired. And between that gap, I kind of lost interest in the show. Maybe I'll circle back and rewatch Season 1 and then Season 2 and then 3. It looks like it's off to a nice start. It's by a different studio. I think this one's by 8-Bit. No way it's by 8-Bit. 8-Bit's doing too much this season then. It is by 8-Bit. 8-Bit, what are you doing? 8-Bit, are you on drugs? <laughs> 8-Bit is doing Eurocam Season 3. They're doing uh, That Time of Reincarnated Slime Season 3. They're also doing uh, the regular Magic High Season 3. They're doing Season 3 of everything. <laughs> What's going on, 8-Bit? How are y'all managing this? Without any collaboration studio, too? There's also Tombo, which I think is a golf anime. Haven't watched it. Anyways, last but not least, Jellyfish Can't Swim in, in the Night. Um, this show actually aired not today, um, well, I guess for, for you it was yesterday, but um, pretty, I haven't watched it yet. When I saw the trailer, I already said, it's probably going to be an underrated show this season, Dark Horse of the season, probably one of the best shows this season, um, but no one was talking about it. Then I saw some people starting to talk about it, like, man, this show's actually kind of underrated. What do you know? I was right. I haven't checked it out yet, though. Um, I, I was planning to actually react to it, but I just, I'm, I just was not in the mood to like record anything. And it reacts today. Yeah, probably do like a double upload of it next week with episodes one and two, maybe. But yeah, it looks interesting. I already said this in my reaction to the trailer. I said, yo, it looks interesting. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be top of the it's gonna be quality. Um, it's by Doga Kobo, which has personally been one of my favorite studios. Um, they always have some nice little chill storylines and some some intricate stuff too mixed in there. And I don't know, they have like a nice variety of stuff that and then in the day I'm just like, yo, I'm gonna like it though. So, anyways. That's it for all the shows that aired this week. Um, at least the ones that have had me interested or caught my eye or I watched. If there's a show I did not mention in this, chances are I'm skipping it. I'm not watching it. <laughs> or maybe it didn't air yet. That's another thing too. I know that this upcoming week, there's going to be a bunch of other stuff coming on. Um, probably today uh, that I have this uploaded. Um, there's uh, Sound Euphonium Season 3 that I'm probably checking out. There's also the Blue Archive, the animation. Any other new stuff that's airing this week? Unnamed Memory. Konosuba, 
season three uh what is this mysterious disappearances or oh, kaiju as well anyways that's all i gotta say have yourselves a nice day and yeah comments below you know what to do see y'all later peace and out